Hey y'all, it's King Rage 13 and thank you so much for watching another video. Today what we got going on is my truck's get finally getting detailed and I just haven't had time to really clean it out. So let me show you around. This is all the stuff that came out from my truck. Yeah, look at that, that's awful. But I got everything cleaned out of here and uh, I'm having a detailer come to take care of all that, take care of the leather, and then do the outside. And I know probably some of y'all are like, why the heck don't you wash it yourself? I would, but I just don't have really the time that I would want to do it. You know, if I have an opportunity to be able to give somebody some business, then I'll want to do that. You know, I, me as a small business, I would like to uh, help other small businesses. And so I always try to support local. <laughs> but yeah, this Louisiana mud doesn't mess around really. So hopefully these guys do a good job. This is the first time I'm using them. We'll see how it goes actually. And uh, my buddy Colby and his uh, Chevy uh, 1500 he's gonna be getting his detailed as well so we're also gonna be doing uh, hopefully I'll get to uh, putting on some mirror lights actually so y'all remember from this video uh, last time I I put them on my black 2017 King Ranch and I think I'm gonna do the same this time and so this is how the stock ones look and you know they're they're still pretty cool and all that but I really liked uh, when I had the scanning ones and so the scanning ones are only available for trucks if you have factory LEDs if not then you don't get the scanning ones but you still you get the uh, you know switchback um, lights on the side I think they should be getting here pretty soon and then we'll probably hop on that maybe after it warms up a little bit as always y'all thank you so much for watching I really appreciate all the support uh, seriously it means the world to me so if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe and comment down below and let me know if y'all ever pay somebody to detail your truck and if so, how much do you usually pay? Um, I think my guy, he's charging me $100 for inside and out. Hopefully he does a pretty good job. I, I mean, to, to be honest, I'm more than willing to pay him more if that means you know he does a better job or something like that. But at the same time, for me, if I run a business, I'm not gonna compromise my integrity on how much somebody's paying me. I'm always gonna be doing this same standard and quality of work just as much as somebody paid uh, $50 or $100 if, if I wasn't detailing or whatever. Hopefully these guys take care of me. That way I'll take care of them. I'll give them a tip or whatever. We're gonna get rolling with this morning. Let me get all that stuff over there cleaned up. Get my truck over to the concrete. That way they're not having to mess around and washing my truck and gravel. Also, so yesterday I went down to Lake Charles and uh, when I was working on my customer 2020, uh, he wanted a five inch exhaust. I didn't have any except for the one on my truck at, uh, yesterday. And so I ended up taking mine off. And yesterday, as you saw from the previous video, I was pretty sick. I didn't really feel like putting a whole nother exhaust on my truck, even though I brought it down there, just because I was just so doggone tired and I felt like garbage. I just drove actually three hours back without any exhaust at all. So actually I'll go ahead and show you what it sounds like. So it was pretty loud in the cab yesterday on the drive back, not going to lie, because that downpipe cuts off right under the passenger seat basically, or at the passenger's feet. It felt like I had the window rolled down the whole entire time I was driving. So, but you know, at the end of the day, it wasn't that bad. But I will say, it did, in a sense, you know, since I was pulling that trailer and I had that exhaust brake on, I mean, I will say it sounded pretty darn good when that back pressure applied on that turbo. And, uh, and it sounded pretty, pretty darn cool.
So there's Colby's truck. I guess he got the chance to rinse it off, but me, I haven't even had the chance to rinse the mud off and all that stuff. So here she is. She's gonna sit right here until them guys get done. Hey, where y'all are at? Are y'all able to see your breath? I'm able to see mine right now, and we live in Louisiana, and it's not even October yet. All right, so I moved Colby's truck behind mine so that the detailers have a little bit easier job of uh, washing them, I think. But uh, this is Colby's truck, and yeah, he got a fender bender as y'all saw from the last couple videos. But uh, he's got some exhaust done on it. I've never had a gas truck with an exhaust system or anything like that, so I don't know, you know, what what y'all think sounds good or. I don't even know what sounds good, I, I, but I would say, I think Colby's truck sounds pretty good. Here, let me start it up and see how it sounds. Would y'all say that sounds pretty good? I guess I've grown to kind of like the ex uh, exhaust sound of Colby's truck. Hear it every morning, so, uh, you know, I've not never been a big gas truck guy, but I think his sounds pretty good. Yeah, we both need washing the bag. They had a job where it was just down a straight dirt road, and so, yeah, look at all that. And his is two-wheel drive. Thankfully, he didn't get stuck or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait for the details to come. I've got the truck sitting right here. Gonna go ahead and take care of some stuff in the morning. Got to get back to a lot of emails and messages and take care of some accounting stuff. What's going on, fruit? How'd he get our trucks washed? Hey, <laughs> His is dirty, mine's muddy as can be. Yeah. Oh, they're awful. And all the gnats and stuff. They did pretty good. They did really good. From uh, Monroe.
pretty good. All right, I'm gonna get them paid real quick. All righty, finally got some time. Uh, what we're putting on it is the recon. And let me see if I can set this up. All right, there we go. All right, it's the recons and put in a box like this. Oh, and you get a sticker. If anybody wants that, comment down below. I'll send it to you. And here they are. And as y'all have seen in the other video uh, on how to install it, so if you want to know how to install it, click the link up here. I might have it somewhere up here. Or just go to my videos and scroll down and find the one where I installed them on uh, an XLT and my other King Ranch. All right, so here's the exhaust. Here's the mirror lights. This is four days later. I uh, just got done mowing. And so, and I'm still a little stuffed up for me sick with a cold or whatever I had, but I got torn up by skeeters bad. <sighs> Sorry, it always takes so long for me to get stuff done. I'll literally go and start to do something and then I'll get a call or something comes up and I gotta change plans. So I've always had to learn to, I've just had to learn to have to always adapt to what's going on and be okay with it sometimes. And then sometimes uh, you gotta set boundaries and so it, it all depends on what's going on. But I'm gonna finally go ahead and get these mirror lights taken out on the stock ones and then finally put on my five inch exhaust that I had to give to a customer from what you saw in the last video. All right, here she is. All right, here we go. That's lock, unlock. Looks pretty good. Let me know in the comments what y'all think. If they turned out pretty good or what? I, I really like. I really like them. All right. So thanks so much for watching, y'all. That's gonna be the end to this video. But I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video of random stuff. <laughs> I'll try to be better organized with my videos, but I just want to show y'all a little something that I was putting on. And we got some more videos to come. Be doing a little bit of changing things up somewhere on the truck. Comment down below and let me know what y'all think I'm gonna change up next. All right, take care guys, bye.